everyone, Digital David here. Today in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to set up and configure your CoolPo conference camera using CoolPo tools. I did receive this product to review, but any opinion expressed in this video is strictly my own. That being said, if you're interested in this product, you wanna find out more about it, the link to it will be in my video description below. I've also done a dedicated unboxing and review video on the channel, be sure to check out that video. My final conclusion was that I really wish there was a way that we could customize and control the camera. Well, little did I know there actually is a way and that's what we're gonna be covering in today's video. So the first thing we need to do is download CoolPo tools. You can download a Windows and a Mac version straight from their website, coolpolens.com. There's the window one and there's the Mac version. Go ahead, give it a download and then open it up. So once you open up the software, make sure you have your conference camera plugged in and powered on. You can see all the different settings we have at the bottom that we can customize for this conference camera. First up, you can see we have our picture mode right here. We can adjust the picture settings. So you can see we have our first picture mode, our second one, then our third one. Then we have our auto mode right here as well. And then you can see we can also turn the 360 panorama on or off. I like it on. I think that's really cool, especially if you have multiple people, you know, talking with you around the conference table. Pretty sweet. We'll leave it in auto for now. Next, you can see we have our display settings right here. So we can restore default. We can adjust the brightness if we want with the camera. So you can see minimum and maximum values right there. Let's go ahead. Let's do the default. Then you can see we can change the hue. We can go all the way up or all the way back down. You can see we can adjust the contrast. So same thing, adjust our contrast and then our saturation. Do we want it to be warmer or cooler? And then we have our exposure as well. So we can adjust, can we? Auto exposure, here we go. So now we can adjust the exposure. We can leave it to auto though. It does a good job with the auto settings. So there we go, you can see everything right there. Then we have our picture customization options. So cannot customize picture when picture is in auto mode. So we can change the picture setting. Here we go. And now let's go back. And there you go. You can see we have our little lock or unlock option right here. And you can see we can choose to zoom in or out. That's pretty cool. And then we can manually move this as well right here within the settings, which is pretty sweet. You can see that, then we can lock it again if we wanted. And then you can see, we can select this one, we don't have any options, so we can just adjust this one. Now let's change the picture mode to two. Let's see if we have the options again to tweak the picture. So yes, both of these now we can adjust. So same thing, we can lock or unlock zoom in or zoom out. And then we can fully move this around as we desire. So just left or right when it's zoomed all the way out like that. That's pretty cool. Let's go a little bit more. There it is. So you can see that. Next, you can see we got our screen block right here. So we can remove all the blocks. We can refresh the panorama to block a portion of the screen. Hold control and the left mouse. So here we go. And now you can see we have a block on the screen. Honestly, I'm not fully sure what that's gonna actually change and tweak, but we can put this block on the screen. And then we can also do another one if we wanted. We can keep moving around. So there we go. You can see the panorama right here. Say we wanted to block this section too. We can put that on. We can remove all the blocks. So let's go back to our picture mode. Let's go to our single setting right here. So you can see I'm still in the shot. Here's the auto section, but then we can go back. Here's block the screen and you can see everything's still blocked out. But if I go back to picture mode, everything's still available here. So not fully sure what the block screen is for. You would think it's to actually block out that part of the screen but to be determined, maybe it's different if you use it within a specific software. And then we have our device upgrade. So you can see we can easily upgrade the firmware so we can get the latest version right there. And then we have our language 
sections as well too if we want to change the language we have that option and then up here at the top we can mute or unmute the audio right there so that's a quick look at coolpo tools well that concludes our video thank you so much for watching don't forget the product link will be in our video description below please go ahead check it out and do your shopping from there any purchase made through that link helps support our channel at no additional cost to you so we're really grateful and thankful for all of your support while you're at it can you go ahead and hit that like button for us and subscribe to our channel. We have new content coming out daily and we don't want you to miss anything. Please go ahead and give us a follow online and make it a clean sweep. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Twitch, TikTok, Discord. You can message us on WeChat, check out our website and join our free newsletter. Thank you guys so much for being here. Don't forget new content daily and we can't wait to see you in our next video.